What a load of old fucking horseshit that was from Manchester United this evening. 1-0 against Brighton. Absolutely horrible performance from Manchester United. Some of them players want to be ashamed of themselves. Absolutely fucking atrocious, to be honest. And it's more the fact that I'm so... That, I mean, I couldn't give shit, as I said before, really, about the result. But it's the fact that these players have got a cup final to come against... Chelsea and none of them even look some of them players just didn't put in a good enough performance to even warrant a place on the bench in that game I mean the likes of Rashford, Martial have got to be doing so much better I mean when was the last time we saw Martial have a fucking good game I can't even remember he, to be honest I think if this game had gone on for fucking two, 20 hours Mar Martial would never have fucking scored and to be honest he's going to get binned off in the summer I'm almost 100% certain of that, and you cannot blame Jose Mourinho if he does get rid of him. I know some people are going to say it's a Salah moment again. Mohamed Salah wasn't getting game time at Chelsea, hardly at all. was very young when he went to Chelsea. They loaned him out, and then obviously they did sell him, but he wasn't pulling up trees even when he did go out on loan until he actually got better when he went to Roma. But Martial has been given so much game time over the last three years since he was signed by Louis van Gaal and hasn't delivered nowhere near enough what is expected of Manchester United. Even in his first season, wasn't good enough. OK, he was young then, scored 17 goals, but nowhere near good enough. He was playing centre-forward nearly all season. And Manchester United need better than that. That, that is just the, the case. He's just not good enough for Manchester United's standards of starting games. At this moment in time, still Rashford isn't, but... You know, I'm more hopeful that Rashford's gonna gonna come good good in the future. He's gradually getting there. I mean, he's got more goals than he got last season. Did get two against Liverpool. I think he is progressing a bit better. But Martial for me has just gone completely stale. And will be binned off in the summer, and I can't can't complain with that. Fellaini tonight, absolutely atrocious from Fellaini in midfield, dropping way too deep. Needs to be further up the pitch, pitch if he's going to be played. And to be honest, I couldn't even care, care that the, these players have played tonight because they needed their chance, to be honest. And to be honest, the, it was more the performance that I was, was so disappointed with from these players rather than the result. I mean, I would have liked a clean sheet because I wanted da David Hare to get the Golden Glove this season, which I'm not sure if he's going to get now. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's neck and neck with, with uh, Manchester City's keeper. But, you know, some of these players just haven't put a good enough performance into to to even give themselves a sniff in the FA Cup final. I mean, to be honest, we've got Darwin out there who shouldn't even be in a Manchester United shirt. We've got Ashley Young who shouldn't even be out there in a Manchester United shirt. And it's just too many of, of them types of players that shouldn't even be playing for Manchester United still warranting a place in the, in the starting eleven in this game. Just too many, to be honest. Hopefully we'll see a lot better improvements nearer and getting nearer to that to the cup final but we don't want to go into the cup final like this to be honest Alexis Sanchez was obviously missing tonight through some sort of suspected injury Romelu Lukaku is missing as well now two massive hit, hits for Manchester United missing them but that's still no excuse the the players out on the pitch should have performed better tonight that was abysmal for Manchester United and the, to me that was worse than the, than the West Brom game because this is so close to the FA Cup final and these players really need to go out there and put in a performance and say, you can't drop me from that FA Cup final. You've got to play me. And if Martial plays like that and is disappointed that he's not playing still, then he's got to buck his ideas up. He must know that performances like that just aren't up to Manchester United standards. I know some people are going to say he was the, probably the best attacking player out the forward line. Yeah, Rashford was poor as well, but time and time again, he's not getting enough game time. And, and when he's coming in, he's, he's not performing like tonight. It's just, just very disappointing. Rashford also has got to buck his ideas up because he won't be starting, I don't think, in the FA Cup final either. But I've got, I've got my doubts whether Jose Mourinho would bin Rashford off just yet in the, in the summer. But he has played a number of minutes from the, from the bench, Marcus Rashford. So I'm just more confident that Marcus Rashford's actually going to gonna go on and, on and be a world-class player in the future more so than... The, the Martial, but well, I mean, we've seen the like Scott McTominay come on in the second half, Jesse Lingard as well. And we tr we tried to up it when we went one down, but really, really disappointing from Manchester United with that performance. You you've got to be be looking for better than that. I know that we haven't got a lot to play for, but as I say, this was about six or seven changes from that Arsenal game, 
and none of these players look like the places were up were up for debate in the FA Cup final. They look they all look like their places were securing the FA Cup final. And besides maybe Paul Pogba, who wasn't at his best, David De Gea, maybe one or two others, Ashley Young will probably definitely start. There's not too many players that are certain to, to start in that starting lineup. So the others want to be held their heads in shame tonight and really look at themselves in the mirror and go again if they get the chance against West Ham or against Watford on the final day of the season because if they don't perform in either of them two games then it could be curtains for most of these players' career and to be honest I couldn't care less if some of these players are binned off in the summer the likes of Ashley Young and that because Manchester United needs to be doing better if we are to, to mount a real title challenge next season cannot be continuing to play the likes of Ashley Young at left back it's just not good enough for Manchester United when we saw Luke Shaw come on in the second half there I thought he looked maybe a little bit better than some of the others, but he only got really a cameo. Really, really not good enough tonight for Manchester United. But I've got to add do good credit to, to Brighton. It wasn't their fault that Manchester United put out an under-par team and they fought for every ball. They were fantastic tonight. Brighton, um, credit to them. Congratulations to them on staying in the Premier League. That has secured them another season in the Premier League. I know probably... They were probably safe anyway, but the other teams around the bottom were probably pissed off as fuck when Manchester United rotated the squad like we did. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.